five favorite chords, five lick that go with them. Let's dive in. C. Lydian, because you have this flat five here. Open string gives you nice resonance. Then you have this nine over here, very magical chord. And on top of that, you have the six. Here's the chord, check it out. A phrase that I can associate with that is probably from the Lydian scale. I like using some magical major seven chords, but just taking only the interval of the root and the major seven. Then, watering it down with some six, that sonic six. Then you can play a triad that is diatonic to Lydian, this D over C. Can you get this? Isn't that beautiful? Just showing you the next chord here. Similar, but a little bit different character. In my opinion, more bright. And that is this chord, which is giving me a nice... Major 7 sharp 5 over here. And the phrase, the lick, is gonna be this. which is based around the arpeggio of this chord. So D major, seven usually is this. Recognize where the five is and raise it by a half step and you have this, right? And the phrase. So this is the major seven of that D chord, just like we had the relationship of the major 7 on C. I'm sliding, then I'm pulling off into my sharp 5, playing my augmented triad, pulling into my major 7, sharp 5, third root, sliding down to my major 7 and going through my sharp 5 over here. right now let me show you the third chord chord that I really love and I think that I associate that with kind of like a more I guess seven dominant with like a sus4 sound check it out the chord is G flat 7 with an add 11 that B string the 11. So basically we have G flat in the bass, then we have the 7, then we have the 3rd, so we have a nice dominant chord, and then we have the 11 and the 7. So both open strings are 11 and 7. And the phrase I'm going to teach you is this. doing these kind of movements that are associated with seeing the scale under the triad. So if, it's, if this is the triad, I have the scale right here. Let's just go over the scale one time. This is the G flat Mixolydian scale. These are the triads, and this is a nice movement phrase. Sliding into the fourth, back and forth, pulling from the root to the seven, playing the five, playing the seven again, nine root, fifth, four, three root. So far so good, nice. Well, let me show you my fourth spicy chord and lick, seven. All right, this chord is very simple. It's exactly like playing D major this way. 
but we're gonna play it this way. So we're adding this open G string. It gives us a nice sus4 combination into our chord. So we still have our root, our third, but we're replacing our fifth, which was usually this, A, just with an open string. And we're doubling our roots over here, D and D, just like a nice octave, and we get this. Okay, the phrase I'm going to show you is very simple in its theory, and it goes like this. Very simple, right? But you can take it even further by... These kind of movements and even further or play around with that basically it's this second inversion chord and you're playing it and you're going through the four to the five so instead of just playing the triad by itself, you're doing some scalier movement. Always great to associate triads and arpeggios with some scalier movements to have a nice variety of movements and contrast in the way you phrase. So, now I'm jumping a string into D, the root, back to five. The A is the 5 of D, the 9, and back and forth. So we get this. And you can also go back to the root if you want. Just get the overall vibe of the arpeggio is skipping a string. Usually when we play arpeggios, we might tend to play them like this, right? Adjacent strings. But in this option, we are actually skipping. You can even play around with the scale and even maybe take this arpeggio that you're used maybe to play over here and skip a string over here. I definitely go so much deeper into all of these arpeggios, including the string skipping part on my Galactic Modern Guitar series, which you can check out in the link in the description of this video and get a path that I've constructed for three years that will allow you to definitely transform the way you see the guitar from triads, arpeggios, and just give you complete freedom over any theoretical visualization part of the fretboard. Uh, it goes from very simple stuff like triads, but very deeply on them, and then it develops into melodic minor, diminished. Definitely check it out. The link is in the description of this video and the website is wiseguitar.com. Let's dive in to the last and fifth phrase. So, chord that I really love and enjoy is this beautiful, and check it out, this is really special. A major seven, so it's A minor major seven, with the add nine. Usually when we play A minor, we all know this chord, right? Guinness chord, I guess. It's a beautiful chord. Spice it up by taking the root and pushing it up to a nine. You have this. Still nice. I'm taking this fifth E. The fifth of A is E. And I'm raising it to a major seven. And I have these beautiful chords. These are all drop twos that I teach on my melodic minor course. Right, very dark, beautiful colors. And the phrase I want to teach you goes something like this.
Okay, basically, if you look at just the scale that is representing that sound, it's the A melodic minor scale. And I'm going with this position here, starting from the seventh, which you might call the altered position. Very, very great, you know, sound of the melodic minor. And I do have so many videos about the melodic minor scale and a full course, you can check that out on my channel, on my website. But briefly here with the melodic minor today, this is the actual position. This is the voicing and you can also play this voicing. Major 7, 3rd, 6, 9 and this is the phrase. Major 7 to the 9, 5th, back to the major 7. And then you can go 6, 3rd. So just this, major 7, 9, 5th, major 7, 6, flat 3. Then you can play the 9 into the 5th. You can also play the root 6 to the major 7. Then you can play the 5th major 7, 6. Let me show you the last one, okay? Bonus one. Still on the A melodic minor scale. Major 7 root 3rd 5th Major 7 9 Major 7 root 3rd 5th Major 7 9 You can also end on this voicing here. You get a root 5th, 6th and a 3rd of that A minor. And then you can even play a drop two of that. You can really dive deep into the drop twos on my website. You have these flat free major seven root five. So just vibing out today, showing you some of my favorite go-to stuff. I just love these, you know, some of my favorite sounds on uh, music and guitar. Different stuff from very bright Lydian, Lydian sharp five, melodic minor sounds. And um, definitely, you know, dive deeper on my website, wiseguitar.com. Check out my courses if you want to just really have everything organized and also support what I'm doing. And if you want to see a cooler video about melodic minor, check out this video. This one is really cool. Actually, one of my favorites. Check it out.